This video will highlight some of the exciting new features of the Business Analyst web app for the end of June 2017 release. This update includes new demographic data for the United States for 2017, access to historical traffic information, new options to visualize data, and several other key improvements. A new tool has been added to the right menu bar that will let you add historical traffic layers to your map. A properties dialog is added with the layer where you can filter the traffic data. For example, you can filter the list of traffic measurements by the year or only show highways. You can also style the traffic layer with smart mapping options. This allows you to size the points by the amount of traffic and color for the most recent observations with a darker color. Each traffic point has a pop-up where you can get more details for the traffic measurement. A new capability has been added to the suitability analysis workflow that allows you to save your criteria, including site attributes and demographic data, so that you can use them later. Say you have a new set of candidate locations where you want to apply the same criteria from a previous analysis. After the locations are added, simply select the previously selected save criteria and the sites are updated with the applicable variables and suitability scores are automatically calculated. The color-coded mapping workflow has improved with new smart mapping options to create beautiful and engaging maps. Click on the variable you want to create an initial map. After the map is created, you can click on the New Style tab to choose from smart mapping options. The Counts and Amount style sizes points by attribute. There are new options that allow you to create a map of two variables. Here I can map the income by size and population growth by color and examine the relationship between the two variables. Darker colored markers have higher growth and larger markers have high income. A number of significant improvements have been made to infographics with this update of the Business Analyst web app. The infographic viewer has been revamped to make it much easier to view infographics in a full screen mode. You can change the zoom level, change pages, or even change the infographic you want to view. New capabilities have been added to make infographics more interactive. Export to HTML has been improved to produce a more rich and dynamic web experience. Exported HTML infographics can be added to your own website, apps, and story maps. A new option will also be added that will allow you to export your infographics to a PDF. A number of improvements have also been made in the infographics template building experience. New starter templates have been added. You can use these as is or customize them to suit your needs. When building an infographic, there are new options to merge and split panels. You can also resize individual panels to create more flexible layouts. There are new layout options when building custom infographics. For example, you can easily add a percent and count for the same variable and choose to stack them. The library of shapes for building your own infographics have also been significantly improved. You can search through all available icons or view individual categories. There is a new option to add a panel from a previously saved infographic. For example, you can select a previously created chart and add it to a new infographic you are building. You can also add images, text, and other infographic panels from previously created templates. Finally, new organizational preferences have been added. Administrators can log in and set the application color scheme, name, and logo that will be set for all other users. 
We are excited about these new features in the upcoming release of the Business Analyst web app. This release will also include updated demographic data for the United States and other countries in Asia and in the Middle East. More details about this update are available in our What's New blog. Thanks for watching.